Welcome back, Lords and Ladies. King Rubber Ra here, and I am your host for this evening on. Uh. What is this? Oh, yeah, Paradise. <laughs> okay, so. Today we are going to make a Renun Carpus. We need an Earth Ruin, which won't be too hard to get. All right, got it. <laughs> All right, um, from there, we need three orange, two red. One of these, two red, and three orange, which would be two of those. There we go. What else do we need? A yellow. Don't want to be running out of flowers with how quickly I'm going through this stuff. Oh, I had a yellow. Darn it. Okay, now I need the redstone to combine with the grass to make redstone root. I'm going to need a seed. Why did I pick up two seeds? I just need one. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. All right. So, how many of the orange need bread? Two and one. Two and one. Okay. That did not work. Let's try it again. One, two, and one of those. Okay, I got it. Good. Um, bucket. Oh, I didn't die with my bucket last time. That's good. Ooh, that was scary. All right. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Ha-ha! Renan Carpus. Okay, so how this works is any block that's placed above a Renan Carpus will be placed on the block that is given below the Renown Carpus, like the gravel. Um, which I already made a boo-boo. Wait, can I put that on top of that? No, I cannot. Okie dokie. So, basically the boo-boo I made was that I need to get one piece of dirt. Just one. Don't worry about it. Now, hopefully... That does not decide to turn into a flint. Good. Now I need my pick. pick a pick a pick a la Gravel, dirt, Renan Carpus. There we go. Looking great. Now, the next thing we want to do is make a open crate. I believe it's called, which means we're going to need these. Like that. Okay, got the open crate. Now I need a chest, which means wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need a redstone. I don't want to do that because that would look really ugly. Let's just do a lever. Uh, hmm. I'm surprised I have no levers. Probably lost it when I died. There we go. Now, right above the Renan Carpus, we place that. And then the chest, like so. 
Oh yeah, I need to take off my ring of magnetism when I'm nearby that area. Then place that there. And so any stone and wood put in there shall be placed here. So let's test it out, shall we? I got some stone already put uh, cooked up. Now, what is wrong with you? Is that because the Renown Carpus is right there below you? Okay, well, let's try that again then. I'm gonna need that baby. Whoa. Oh, it placed my open crate. I don't need you to place my open crate. Thank you, though. And then place that there. Open crate, chest, uh, lever. Wow. That was interesting. Now you know if you want some fancy work, you could just do that. Oh my freaking gosh, that scared the loving daylights out of me. Whew. All right. So now we need to figure out if that's working. Oh, I know what's going on. That needs to be a hopper, not a chest. Ha. Huh. Silly me. Silly me. Okay. So, um, a hopper. Right. Five, and then a chest. Bam. Oh, no you don't. You're not going to sneak in there. Ah. Okay. Um, can I reach the top? No, I cannot. Actually, I should totally just take this one piece at a time. Considering that the Renan Carpus will try to place it in the world if I don't pick it up. Which will waste mana in the long run. Alright. Now we put that on there. Throw that in there. Okay, let's see it at work. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. Hopefully it can do all that. Hmm. Okay. Can you or can you not? Probably can only do one at a time. Let's try that one more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, that reaches fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okie dokie then. Um, that's not working. Max pick. Oh my goodness gracious, that scared the living daylights out of me. Okay, uh, pick. Let's. And I know why it didn't work last time, so hopefully this time, if I go one, two, put that there on top. And 
no, not cobblestone, regular stone. Why am I using, why am I using bad tools for the wrong job? Okay, so hopefully this time, aha! So can you do multiple at the same time? Oh, it kind of can. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. All right, that works out, but we kind of have to uh, determine what we're going to how much we're going to do there. Now, um, the next thing we need to do to automate, automatize it is we need to make, oh, well, we don't even need to make anything. We just get some mana spreaders. Come here, you dumb stuff. All right. Actually, that can go there, 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 there. All right. Now, uh, question is, are you mana spreaders getting anything? No, you're not. Hmm. Okay, so... Wait, I probably need one of those uh, relay things. Okay, so there's a mana prism. Warp lens. Force relay. Okay. Hmm. Or lens in the force relay will make it'll make the lens not break force relays. Wait, when it's used as a composite material to a or lens, or lens must be visible. Okay, it'll make the lens not break the force relay or pistons, as well as teleport any blocks to the spot where the burst was fired. Huh. That might be interesting to do. Okay, so how do you make a force relay? Force, nope. Force relay. Oh, pistons. Okay, I'm gonna go make one, two, three, four, four force relays. Be right back. Okay, got the pistons. Now, I think you put them in there. Oh no, just a regular one. Fuck. Come on now. Two, three, four. Whew. All right. Um, I believe that the force relays would go there. Okay, so what does it say about the force relay? Four. Force relay. Seams infusing pistons, mana result in interesting adverse effects. This block tears through the fabric space, relaying any piston force applied to it to block it's bound to, to bind. It to a block, right click with the wand of uh, wanded forest, and right click on the block you want to bind it to. All right, so from there, 
Um, we need to go to make some bore lenses, which are greed, water, and then some, fan no, not phantom. No, we don't want phantom. Wait, phantom might work. I'm going to make one bore and one phantom and combine them, and let's take a look-see of how that works. Um, hmm. Please don't turn in. Good. I'm going to move this over one, just in case. Okay, let's go get those lenses. Well, after a stupid amount of resources, I managed to make the lenses needed for this job. So, I want to see if I could do a bore and a fa phantom. Ah, do I need to put it in here? Okay, so... Okay, apparently you cannot put those two together. But you can put composite mana lens bore warp. Alright. Let's do that then. Wait, did I do it wrong? Oh, no I didn't. Um, okay. Now, pistons. No, not pistons. I'm sorry. Huh. Let's try this out for size. Wait, how do I combine those two together again? I'm trying to do what? The warp lens. <laughs> okay. Mana, burst, effect, gliding force relay will teleport to the end position of said force relay, maintaining its momentum. Furthermore, when it's used as a composite material into bore lens, the bore lens must be visible, will make the lens not break force relay or pistons. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but let's try something real quick. We need to take you off and put you on. Oh, fuck. That. Oh, you break it by shift right clicking. Okay, so. Composite bore lens. This guy is confusing me. Uh, I'll be back once I figure this out. Okay. I think I figured it out finally. So, now I have a use for those batteries up there. So, I made more phantom lenses, and practically threw, um, no, actually I didn't. <laughs> Got the bore lenses with the uh, force relays, the warp lenses, yeah. I had to make a lot more mana poles, but now I've got mana being sent over here. I've got a floating hopper hawk. 
And so all we need to do is drop a few of these. Set it down for a second. Oh, that may not work. That may not work. Let's wait and see. Yep, that's not going to work. Dang it. Okay. Need to turn these into redstone mana spreaders. Um, be right back. Okay, now hopefully this time. Oh, boy. So, throw some in there. The running carpet should sit them for me. All right. Hmm. I wonder, is... Can you control a uh, hourglass? Hourglass. Um, turns by itself, inventory, sand, red sand, soul sand, depend on what is sand, sand types can be mixed, time, note sand added, inventory, sand can be added, can be by hoppers. Locked, can't use. Mana burst collides with the block. It'll stop the flow of sand, pausing the timer. Collide again, continues it. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. And then voila. Um. I'm sorry, but stop making me pick it up. There. Okay, so we need a timer. <clears throat> oh, I've got an idea. I kind of got an idea, but I'm going to have to do this one off camera because we're out of time so if you lords and ladies enjoyed this ep uh, episode and found this helpful basically we've got mana spurters on this side goes through and hits the force relay stopping it and destroys all that's in its path over here we got the running carpus places anything that's dropped on top of it onto gravel we p play some stone and wood in there that way it places all stone and wood in here um and then we have a hopper hawk uh, pick up stuff and put them into my uh, chest right here. That way we can uh, start doing that stuff all over again, uh, uh, making the stuff that we need. Um, the last thing I'm going to need to do in order to make this 100%, um, well, not 100%, but as close to being perfect as possible is once you drop, uh, turn on the redstone signal, it will send a pulse over to the timer to start it, which will then, in turn, send this link to attack that, destroying that, and then we turn it off again. I don't think that's going to work, but it might. So, bye-bye now and enjoy.